Okay, we're going to choose from some that I've already installed under ANSI Inch. So I'll go to Structural Member, ANSI Inch. I want a square tube, and we'll just use a four by four by a quarter inch wall thickness square tube. And now I'll, I'll click on the lines for which I want tubes to run. Okay, so I did the top frame. Now I'll create a new group and do the legs. I'm simply left clicking on the lines that I want to utilize. Okay, I'll zoom in here and click this node. You notice that Solid Edge defaults to this sort of joint where one runs past and the, the, the other runs into the side. There are, of course, options for that. If you want a miter joint, you can simply click here and that'll create a miter joint. If you want to run the opposite one long, then you can click that one. I'm going to run miter joints on all four of mine. So I'm left clicking on each node and selecting miter joint. And then I think I'm finished, so I'll hit the green check mark, left click the green check mark, and scroll around my model and make sure that everything looks the way I expected it to. Once I'm happy with it, I can save it and um, produce drawings of it, move it over to a static analysis structure, do finite element analysis on it, or whatever I might need to do.